Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And based on the thumbnail of the video and the title of this video, you guys already know that we have some super heat coming up. But before we continue this video guys, be sure to like this video and subscribe down below as well as hit that notification bell. And just to get right into it y'all, we got none other than the Huff and Nike SB Dunk Lows in both the New York City and the San Francisco colorways guys. And I have to say, these shoes are super duper heat, like 100,000 fire emojis. They look so good in person. And really guys, the leather on it is like impeccable. It's just such a great feel. It has that nice tumble leather feel, but it's not like that cheap tumble leather. It just has that nice, nice detail on it, guys. But before we get into the details of the shoes, guys, you know we have to start off with the history of it, of course. So as you guys know, this is a collaboration between the Huff Worldwide brand as well as the Nike brand. So Huff was originally created in 2002 in the San Francisco area, but we do have a lot of roots in NYC, which is kind of the whole purpose of this collaboration, as well as the tribute to the late Keith Huffnagel. So Keith Huffnagel, as the name says in itself, is the original creator of the Huff Worldwide brand, but he was also born and raised in New York City. So that is exactly why we do have a New York City pair. And this whole entire collaboration is not only a collaboration, but is a celebration of life for both Keith Huffnagel and the Huff Worldwide brand itself. Unfortunately, Keith actually passed away two years ago due to brain cancer. So like I said before, this sneaker is actually a celebration of the brand itself, but a bigger celebration of Keith's life as a whole being a big influence on the skateboarding scene as well as brand collaboration. So the initial shoe that both Keith and Nike brand actually collaborated on was the Nike SB Dunk High and it basically had a tie-dye colorway to it and it's really clean man like it's really really clean and what's really dope about this collaboration in itself is the fact that it does take some notes from the original but has some extra twist to it so we're gonna get into that a little later into the details of the shoe. So before we get into the details of the shoe guys I just want to mention one thing right here so at least for this specific specific release. I don't know if the general release of these shoes is going to come in this mystery bag. And that was kind of the gimmick behind this whole collaboration. So it actually came in a mystery bag where it says Huff and Nike SB. It shows the San Francisco colorway, the New York City colorway, and then it just says mystery at the bottom because you don't know which pair you're actually going to get in this box. So fortunately for me, I was actually able to hit the cop date raffle. I actually was worried that I was going to get two of the same pairs, but I actually got one New York City and one San Francisco. So that's just something else to note right there. And first off, I'm just going to start off with the San Francisco colorway because I have to say guys, I initially with my New York bias said the New York City colorway is the best. It's super fire and it's just like ultra clean. But guys, there's a lot of details on the San Francisco pair and it is in that black and white colorway which I really love and is just super simple and again, you could pull this off with pretty much any type of outfit guys. It just has the blacks. It also has some Union Orange on the leather. So if you guys are familiar with the Union Jordan ones that came out, the black pair and the blue pair as well. I had that age yellow edge on the toe box area just like this and it's actually featured around this whole entire shoe which is really dope. Now guys, let's just focus right onto the details of the toe box. So when you look at that toe box right here, we actually have a beautiful detail of the Huff brand as well as the Nike logo in this jeweled Nike check right here. And I think that's super dope guys and it kind of adds this premium feel to the shoe while also keeping it very, very simple guys. So I think that just looks super duper clean. Then when we look at the mud guard of the shoe, you can see that we have that black leather. And again, it's in this kind of high quality tumble leather because you guys may not know, not all tumble leather means that it's good leather, but this one just feels really good to the touch. You can like squeeze it a lot and it'll just go right into its original form which is really good man i think that this is a good collaboration and even though nike has raised the prices on their shoe i think the fact that they were able to keep this at the 130 price mark with all the extra details that you get was actually pretty good on nike's end so big shout out to nike on that and then we're moving on to the top of the shoe you can actually see that we have these kind of age sale laces which is pretty dope and then when we look at the top of the tongue tab we do have that nike sb logo with the san francisco tag right there which is pretty dope then when you look at the inside of the tongue you can actually see a green tag right there that says 20 years of nike sb and again as i mentioned earlier in the history of this review this is definitely a shoe that celebrates the history between huff worldwide keith huff nagel as well as the nike sb family so really big shoe i think this was one of the best releases that i've seen i know a lot of people were mad that cop date actually dropped this shoe but i think they did pretty good man because i've known some people who actually bought it hundreds of entries 
and not one of them won. So I think they really took the time out for this specific release to actually filter out all the bots and real people actually got these shoes, man, instead of those bot accounts. So that's just something else to note right there. Now when focusing on the lateral side of the shoe, you can see that we have that beautiful kind of like, I don't wanna say panda colorway, but we do have that kind of panda slash Union Jordan 1 colorway right there. And I think it looks really clean. We do have this black right here. And then when we focus on the quarter panel, we do have this kind of white leather. However, as you guys kind of may have saw on the mystery box, if you actually cut this out, you do get that kind of tie dye colorway underneath this leather. So if you cut it out, you get this beautiful, beautiful colorway. And again, as I mentioned in the history of the shoe, the original Huff Nike SB Dunk High had that tie dye colorway to it. And that's one of the hidden details in the shoe right there. And I think they pulled that off beautifully. Next, we have this kind of like gray Nike check right here. And then on the check, you can also see that kind of age yellowing right there, which looks really, really clean in my opinion. Then when you go into the back of the shoe, on this right pair, it says forever. But if you actually get the left pair of the shoe now, it says Keith forever. And again, a recurring theme about this collaboration is the fact that they're celebrating the life of Keith Huffnagel. So when you put these shoes together, it does say Keith forever in this stylized font. And I think that looks really dope. One thing that's similar between both shoes though, is the fact that on the San Francisco pair, you can actually see the San Francisco skyline. So you can see all of those kind of skyscrapers and buildings. I'm not familiar with the San Francisco area, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you all the landmarks there, but it is on the shoe. And another fire touch to the shoe is the fact that this is actually 3M. So when you flash it with a flashlight, it's gonna pop with that 3M, and I think that's super dope. Now when focusing on the medial side of the shoe, the same thing pretty much follows suit, so there's nothing really to preach about right there. So now guys, let's focus on this midsole, and it's pretty much a sail midsole, so instead of going for a full white, they gave this nice little sail touch to it, and I think that looks really clean, and again, adds a pop to the shoe. Now when we go into the outsole of the shoe now, you can pretty much see we have that herringbone traction pattern in that black colorway. And then we have that foam Nike logo right there, which is pretty clean. And pretty much guys, that's gonna conclude the San Francisco shoe. I just wanted to add one more thing to it. And it's the fact that it does come with two laces. However, I'm gonna spoil it for y'all. I do think that the sail laces look better, but this shoe also comes with a spare pair of black laces also. So now guys, let's get right into the New York City pair because I really love this pair as well. I'm from New York City, born and raised in Brooklyn, y'all. I already know the vibes about that. So let's just get right into it, guys. I'm not gonna go too much into the specific details because I just went through that for the San Francisco pair. However, I'm just gonna cover the key differences. So when you look at this shoe, you can see that we have an upper that is predominantly white, but we also have a lot of navy hits. So when looking at the toe box of the shoe, guys, instead of having that white and black toe box, we do have a navy toe box with the Huff logo in white, as well as that jewel Nike check that looks really cool. Something similar to both shoes is the fact that it does come with a pair of sail laces right here, but the difference is that since this is a navy shoe, it does come with a spare pair of navy laces right there. Also, when you look at the tongue of the shoe, guys, you can see that the tongue is navy as well. And then once we look at the tongue tab, you can see that it says Nike SB with that beautiful New York City check right there, you guys. Now, when focusing on the lateral side of the shoe, you can see more of that kind of white leather as well as the blue in the quarter panel. And again, we do have some age yellow coloring at the edges of the leather. And again, that reminds me of the Union Jordan 1 release. Pretty much the same exact thing, and I think that's really dope. And then following that in the quarter panel, as I mentioned before, we do have a blue tie-dye version when we cut the quarter panel open. So that's a super cool detail to me as well. And also for this colorway, we do have this gray leather Nike check. Now when going onto the back of the shoes where things change because we are in New York City now, so we are not in San Francisco, and pretty much the first thing that you may not notice when looking at these shoes briefly is the fact that instead of having the stylized font with the forever, we actually have a script forever now. And as I mentioned before, when you put both shoes together, you do get Keith forever on the back heel area, which is pretty dope. But another thing to mention is the fact that since we are in New York City, we do have that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful New York City skyline right there. So we do have things like the Statue of Liberty, what we call the Freedom Tower now, but originally was the Twin Towers. And we do have, of course, the Empire State Building, which is really clean. And again, just a celebration of Keith and just his life as a whole and creating these brands and doing beautiful collaborations with Nike, guys. Now we're going on to the medial side, guys. The same thing pretty much follows suit, so there's nothing special to go right there. And that's pretty much gonna conclude the details of the shoe, guys. The other thing to note, which I'm gonna show in the B-roll, is the fact that we do have this kind of lime green insole, which is really dope. So on the right shoe, it does says Nike SB, 
and it has a poodle or some type of dog on the top of the insole. And then when we look at the left shoe, we do have the Huff logo right there in this kind of like lime green colorway. And we do again have that dog on the top of the insole, which will be shown on the B-roll. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed the details and history of the shoe. So now let's get into this awful look, all right? That's pretty much gonna conclude the review as well as the awful look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Guys, I have to say this collaboration is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Both shoes brings a different vibe to it. Obviously, one is for a New York City vibe and one is for San Francisco vibe. However, I do love the both of them. Like initially, I thought the New York City pair was gonna blow the San Francisco pair out of the water. But after seeing both pairs in person, I think they're both equivalently beautiful and just expresses the shoe in two different ways. And I think I'm actually gonna keep the both of them, guys. I was actually gonna sell this pair, but now looking at them, I'm just like, nah, these shoes are too freaking clean, guys. Like, it's just so clean in person. I don't know how else to describe it. The leather feels good and it works good when you press on it. So, you know, it's that good quality leather. It does have a similar thin tongue to a regular Nike Dunk Low or something that's an SB that I could compare it to is actually the Chunky Dunkies. So I did do a review on the SB Dunk Low Chunky Dunkies and they also had a similar thin tongue. However, the Chunky Dunkies, I was able to wear a size eight, which is my regular Dunk size. But for these, I absolutely recommend going a half size up. So for my people who's asking for the SB Dunk Low size, definitely go half a size up so these are in an eight and a half just to be more specific guys and pretty much that's going to conclude the entire review guys so don't forget to like share comment subscribe share with your friends and family and all that and be sure guys to keep doing what y'all doing to help push your youtube algorithms and help my channel grow and if you are a new viewer to this channel guys be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell as you guys can see i'm giving y'all the latest and greatest sneaker updates as well as all the history and details on them so other than that y'all i'll catch y'all in the next video Peace.